You're going to use the schedule in combination with the modules button at the top of your page to navigate the course. So I do not have the modules button turned on on the left hand side because the modules that Canvas gives you are not a pretty visual module uh, and I wanted a pretty visual in my course. So when you're ready to do your coursework you're going to click on modules. You must, you must know what you need to work on. So for the first week of the semester we're on module one which is the default module when you click on modules. You'll read all the information, so it has, every module has a little intro, this is kind of what we're working on for this module, and then it has all of the coursework that's required for the entire module. And so for module one, that just means you're going to read through some fun facts about the course, and then you are going to complete the required activities on the left-hand side and the required submissions on the right-hand side. Anything with a number is something that requires a submission and counts towards your grade. However, in order to successfully complete these four items, it is in your best interest to click through all the options on the left-hand side. If you spend a few hours during the first week of the semester and you thoroughly click through and actually read and take notes on all of the items on the left-hand side here, you'll be set up for success in this course. Um, there are many students that will get several weeks into the class and still be confused about how to navigate the course and where to go. And if I go in and I look at their access report, they have never clicked on any of these assignments or read any of the pages. I know that it's kind of boring. All of your teachers make you do it at the beginning of the semester. But every course is different, and it's in your best interest to really start to embrace and understand what your course is and what is expected of you in it. So for the first week of the semester, or for Module 1, you need to click through Getting Started in Art 1280, which is essentially the Word version, the worded version, the written version, of what I'm talking to you about now in these videos. And the videos are embedded on this page as well. There are guidelines for taking online courses. If you have never taken an online course before, please read through um, the first option. Uh, and the second option is very long, so you don't have to read through the whole thing, but there are four sections that I think are important. Um, I get a lot of very, very positive and very, very negative feedback from students in online classes. And students either love the course or they hate the course. And What's great about education is that not everything is set up for everyone, right? There's a time and place to take an online class, and you may or may not be successful in it based on how I set up the course, my expectations for you, but also you just might not be somebody who really wants to take online courses or should take online courses. Maybe an on-campus section of this course is more right for you, and that's okay. By reading the guidelines for taking online courses, you can self-reflect and decide if this is something that you should stay with or you should switch to an on-campus section. The Setting Realistic Expectations has a list of expectations that I have for you as a student. I would like you to read through them. But because I have expectations for you, I've also set expectations for myself so that there's a checks and balances to what I'm expecting of you. I would never expect something of you that I wouldn't expect of myself in return. And so you can see that and you can read through it. There are resources for help. So if you're struggling with just getting onto Canvas, getting into the course, there's resources at the college. If you're having trouble with, with things at the college, so financial aid or help with the writing center or your e-portfolio, there's resources that are listed there for you too. And then at the bottom you can see that I have posted some resources, some Photoshop help resources that might be helpful. But most importantly what I would like you to know is that I'm available to you and I log in to my online office hours three days a week, every single week and almost no one shows up to them. So if you need help, log in to my online office hours and you'll essentially get one-on-one -on -one help from me on whatever you need help with. The course syllabus we've already talked about, there is a page for the course materials, text, and software. If you read the course syllabus in the previous video, then you will already know this, but the things that you need for our class are you need access to Adobe Photoshop primarily, but we will also use Adobe Bridge and Camera Raw, and you will have the option to use InDesign and Illustrator during certain pockets of the semester. You're not required to use them though, so you don't need InDesign and Illustrator. Um, when you go to access the software, uh, you can either purchase a subscription through Adobe.com, you can use the Visual Art and Design Computer Labs, you can use SLCC All Access, 
but starting with the fall 2019 semester, the college has made a licensing agreement so that you as a student have the ability to download the Adobe software on your personal computer for no cost. So make sure that you're reading through the course materials, text, and software page. Um, in addition to that software, you need to print at the end of the semester. And you can either take your artwork to like a Kinko's type place that would have a high quality photo, um, high quality or photo quality uh, printer. But if you come to campus, we will print for free and more information will be provided about that. And then last but not least, Art 1280 is an OER class, which stands for Open Educational Resources. So we are trying our hardest to make the course as free and low cost as possible uh, to students once you pay for the course. And so there's really no reason that you'd have to pay any money to take this course other than whatever the college charges you for the class. Okay. To wrap up the required activities, you will review the semester schedule at a glance and print it. And then there are two videos I want you to watch, but um, I'm redirecting you to adobe.com because we're going to talk about what Photoshop is. Um, you don't need to take notes on them, I just want you to watch it to kind of get an idea of what we will talk about this semester. And then when you're done, there are four activities that I would like you to complete. I would like you to do your initial response activity. You are either going to submit this activity and say that you feel comfortable navigating the course in Canvas or that you don't and you have questions. So if you feel comfortable, just say yes, I feel comfortable. I understand how this course will navigate. So many students are like, oh yeah, I use Canvas all the time, I'm fine. But I'm not asking you if you can use Canvas. I'm asking you if you feel comfortable clicking on the Modules tab, navigating to Module 5, and finding Lesson 19 when you need to work on that lesson. If you are not comfortable, this is the time to ask questions. Just don't say no. Say, no, I'm confused, and I have the following questions. And your teacher is going to check this multiple times per day for the first two weeks of the semester, so that as soon as you ask a question, you're getting the most immediate response as possible by your instructor. I would like you to upload a profile picture. You don't need to submit anything for this assignment. Instead, you'll go over to your profile or your account in the top left-hand corner, click on it, and it will allow you to change your profile picture. I would like you to practice using discussion threads. So we're not using discussions in the typical online class where you have to write a two-page paper and post it and then respond to your classmate in three to five paragraphs and blah, 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 blah. But we are going to use discussions every time you submit an activity so that you can share your work with the class. And so you need to be able to properly respond to an original post and insert a picture. So for the first week, I just want you to talk about yourself. So I have a little intro paragraph here. I wrote way more than you need to write. Try to write three paragraphs. Um, talk about, you know, who are you? What are your interests? What's your major? What are your goals in life? Why are you taking this course? That kind of thing. And then I would like you to try to embed a photo because when you are submitting your work throughout the semester, you need to be able to do that. And so during this first module, we can troubleshoot why it's not working if you can't get it to work. So when we start doing lesson one, you have the ability to embed the artwork. All you have to do to respond to a discussion is to scroll to the bottom of the original post. So don't just scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Just go to the bottom of the original post and hit reply. You do not want to reply to someone else's post because then your post gets nested in someone else's. And so make sure that you're scrolling to the original post or the bottom of the original post and then hit reply and whatever you type will be posted below. If 30 other students have already posted, yours will be the 31st and you'll have to scroll to the bottom to see it, but at least it will be in order underneath the original post. And the last activity that you need to complete in Module 1 to wrap up Module 1 is a syllabus quiz. There are unlimited attempts and no um, time limit. It asks very specific questions that I feel are very important for every student in this class to know. And so I would like you to read through the syllabus and find the answers. For example, if you would like to earn an A in this class, what grade do you need to earn an A? What is a late work policy? Um, true or false, students cheating will fail the course. Uh, and different things like that. And so make sure that during the first week you take this and if you don't get all the questions right, go back, look up the answer on the course syllabus and continue taking this exam until you, or this quiz, until you get 100%. That wraps up module one. So please, before you move on to the next video, complete module one. Make sure that it's, it's finished and when you're done, we'll move on and it'll be the last video and I will talk about the format of the course 
that will be repetitive starting with module two. It'll follow a pattern.